my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for libra's sun moon and rising Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of january 2018 let's see how we're going to kick start off this new year remember you guys intentions is everything so it is necessary for you guys to crystallize your intentions now to be able to manifest that throughout this year okay i hope um I truly wish for all of you guys to receive abundance, success, joy, and above all, happiness and health. I hope you guys had a beautiful time, uh, the holidays with the family, loved ones, people that matter most to us. So anyways, let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has for Libras, Libra, Libra, for the month of January 2018. All right, let's see what the messages are for Libras for January 2018th. All righty. First card, Libra, you have the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. General energy is the Ace of Wands. Okay, so you guys have two uh, two Aces in this reading. Um, so Libras. Okay, so for the month of January 2018, uh, there is passion being ignited a new beginning a new passion um for some of you guys i do see movement in regards to employment um or where you're currently working at for some of you guys it could be that you find a job that you've been looking for and you actually uh, move to another company uh another business or it could be that you decide to take on uh take on a new a new pursuit in regards to finances okay so i do see movement uh, for some of you guys it could be being offered an opportunity uh, a higher ranking position but you're gonna have to uh, go out of your way uh, so for some of you guys it could be transferring the same company just transferring different location uh, for others of you, it could actually represent physically um, getting a different offer or a different job and you move to the other job, okay? So anyways, the Ace of Wands is definitely talking about a new beginning in regards to passions being ignited. Um, so it's the pursuit of wanting to uh, put effort in regards to business and finances um, in something that you are passionate about. So for those of you guys that have been working um, at a place that you've been unhappy for for quite a while there's going to be an opportunity where you're going to either be offered or someone's going to let you know that they're currently hiring um in a place that you've either wanted to work for or you wanted to do and you do make that shift that movement um and then a new beginning starts with that so again it's almost the correlation of it now you do have the high priestess here and the high priestess next to the eight of pentacles um this talks about a lot of secretness uh, in, in currently where you're working at um, or where this could be between co-workers as well. But there's like secret, uh, secret, what's the word, secretiveness um, behind putting effort towards something. So for some of you guys, it could be that there's a lot of like rumors and secrets going around. Uh, in the workplace but for some of you guys it could be that you are uh, intuitive intuitively um, feeling like your partner th the person you're with uh, romantically involved with is uh, hitting or keeping things hidden from you and the eight of pentacles is you having the fear of putting effort um, putting effort or wanting to you know uh, continuously keep working at the relationship and your fear is that you're going to be let down or that your partner's telling you that they're wanting to fix the relationship but that 
but that really they're not. Uh, and that's, I feel that that's a fear of you or it is a general reading. So this could be you, uh, Libra, the one that is telling your partner, you are going to put effort into the relationship, but in reality, you're not. Uh, and you're kind of keeping that to yourself. Now you do have the strength card here and the strength card talks about, again, um, it's a very confident type of energy. It's about sexuality, but it also speaks about having the strength to uh, move forward in a positive in a positive way, feeling more stronger, feeling more energetic, uh, feeling more. I feel that for some of you guys, uh, perhaps November and December was a little bit challenging for Libras. And going into January, I start seeing you uh, almost vibrate to a stronger energy um, kind of getting, you know, your batteries recharged in a way. Um, there is the four of pentacles here, and I feel that this is your heart chakra. So for a lot of you guys, you're unable to connect to your partner or the person that you're with. If you guys have been in a long-term relationship, you're unable to connect with them because you are protecting your heart. So again, we go back to the fear of, I'm scared to put effort because what if I'm let down? Or I'm scared to put effort because what if they end up hurting me? Um, or it could be if you currently are dealing with someone that you just recently started dating, it could be the fear of bringing your walls down because you feel um, you're fearing at the present time that you're going to be hurt. Um, so again, uh, my suggestion is if this has something to do with the past, okay, and I mean in the sense of if in the past you were let down or you were hurt, know and understand that everyone has their own battles. You're not the only one that deals with, um, you know, with pain, with hurt. Um, I know that for Libras, it could be very difficult because you guys are very mental. Uh, you guys have to, you know, uh, deal with, sometimes it's really difficult for you guys to deal with emotions because you don't know how to understand it unless you see it from a mental perspective, unless you analyze it. And unfortunately, sometimes in regards to love, uh, and emotions, we're not able to analyze, you know, love is something that is you just feel. So this is something you're going to have to work through if in fact you were hurt uh, or betrayed in the past um, in order for you to be able to move forward and not feel stuck because the two of swords is here. Uh, it's a feeling of being stuck, but you're being stuck because you're not wanting to make a choice or you're not wanting to make a change or the change could have to do with you're not willing to open up or be vulnerable. Um, so again, this is something to really think about. Uh, what is it that you're really hiding from? What is it that you're really protecting yourself from? Are you protecting yourself from the person that uh, you're trying to let in? Or are you protecting yourself from the fear of being let down like you were let down in the past? And if that's the case, know and understand that it's not fair for the person that you're currently dealing with to have to be dealing with the battles that were meant for someone else. Okay. So again, that is necessary. Almost self-reflection is very important. Um, now you do have the two of wands, the two of wands and the three of wands in this tarot. Uh, you're looking very closely in regards to partnerships or looking very closely to uh, wanting to decide if you even want to be in a partnership. So it could be vice versa because it is a general rating. So some of you Libras, it could be that you're so asphyxiated in wanting to find a partner. And for others of you, it, you have a partner, but it's very difficult for you to actually com commit to them or connect with them on a deeper level. Okay. So the three of wands is definitely looking towards the future. Um, but it still holds two wands in the, in the past, in the past position. So it's almost like you have one, you know, one wand holding onto it going towards the future, but you almost feel like there is more pull towards the past and the present. So for some of you guys, it could be not having clarity or not having understanding of what you're wanting in a partnership or in a relationship. Um, for some of you guys, it could be, again, going back to work and finances, it could be that um, you don't even have clarity in regards to what you want, uh, where you're working at. Do you want to grow? Do you want to continuously keep going up the scale? Or are you happy where you're at? Or have you convinced yourself that you're happy where you're at because it's most comfortable for you? 
Okay, these are questions that you need to really ask yourself uh, to be able to understand on a deeper level your nature and why we do the things we do. Um, are you self-sabotaging yourself? Okay, that's the main question here. Now, you do have to choose. Again, like I said, um, choices. Uh, there's a lot of choices that are going to have to be made for January for you Libras. And again, down here, you have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Uh, try the best you can, Libras, not to be very forceful, okay? Uh, keep that in check. For some of you guys, you may come off to other people very strongly, uh, very opinionative. Or uh, if you are trying to seduce, you know, the opposite sex, try the best you can not to be very forceful in your energy, um, and, and I don't mean forceful like, you know, I mean forceful in the sense of don't over obsess over a person you're getting to know. Because sometimes when we do that, we kind of, you know, self-sabotage ourselves because we're so connected to the idea of what we want that when we meet that person that makes us feel like we thought we would feel, we over obsess and try to force them into a relationship and that's not going to work. Okay. You got to understand that you have to allow these things to happen organically and very naturally in order for you to get ultimate results. You can't just force yourself uh, to make someone uh, see, you know, what you see, the potential you see in a relationship. You can't force yourself to make someone see that. Uh, it has to progress organically again, like I said. Um, now, you do have the Ace of Swords here. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, those of you guys that have been in a partnership for quite a while and you feel like your partner has been uh, either keeping secrets from you or hiding something from you, and that's the reason why you're so protective or your guard is up, um, again, it could be that you, because of this feeling, uh, you've been very, very cutthroat on the way you express yourself or how you communicate with your partner and it's created a bit of a tension here between both of you guys nonetheless by the end of January the truth comes out um, you get clarity or you get understanding on a deeper level on the things that you've been feeling that have been kept hidden from you but more than anything there is clarity finally coming through and being able to see and understand for some of you guys it could just be that you kind of get to the point of understanding that your partner wasn't really hiding anything from you. Um, this was just you kind of self-sabotaging yourself um, in regards to not wanting to connect. For some of you guys, I feel that the majority of you guys, you guys are having trouble uh, emotionally connecting to people at the present time. And again, uh, you guys have to understand that because of the alignments of what's happening right now and just getting it, you know, about to get out of a retrograde and all of that. There is a lot of issues coming about that we have to self-reflect because they do or they are connected to the past. But again, healing is necessary and more than anything, uh, try the best you can to get a clear perspective on what it is that you want. For some of you guys, it could be that you think or you've been thinking that you want partnerships and in reality, you are not emotionally available at the present time. Uh, so this is something that you need to understand and really get to the bottom of understanding why you're doing what you're doing or why you feel the way you're feeling. It is very important to understand our feelings. And I, again, like I said, for Libras, that could be a bit challenging, but you need to understand and know that in regards to love and romance, sometimes we cannot overanalyze anything. Um, it's really difficult to analyze a feeling of, you know, connection with someone because more than likely you're not going to be able to, um, you're not going to be able to analyze it, you know, feelings are feelings and that's just how it works. Uh, sometimes we have to, you know, it takes more courage to allow yourself to open yourself up after you've been hurt um, and give yourself the opportunity of connecting with someone else. But more than anything, it's don't see it as you giving the opportunity to someone else. See it as you're giving yourself the opportunity to find your happiness or to be happy. Everyone deserves that. Okay. So I hope this resonates with you guys, sending you guys light and love as always. Uh, and again, like I said, intention is everything. So make sure to put your intentions out there for this 2018. Many blessings be bestowed upon each and every single one of you guys. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.